been around four days, eating and tripping through various less known places in northeastern Japan. And for the finale, we've chosen somewhere a little more well known the picturesque hot springs town of Ginza and Onsen. After all, no trip to Japan is complete without a relaxing night in a Japanese ryokan. But back in the present, we were just heading for our hotel breakfast after a night spent in Ichinoseki city. Actually not half bad, not as good as I was led to believe, but this is, this is a decent variety of stuff. favorite stuff. Everin tofu thing. <laughs> okay, back on the road. We are going to see a supposedly relatively famous temple at the historic city of Hiraizumi today. Transportation is a little bit difficult to arrange so we'll be trying to take a taxi there. Okay, here we are. This is the historic town of Hiraizumi. We are visiting the most prominent temple here called Chiusonji. It's gonna be a little bit of a walk up this slope to the main temple compound. But yeah, it's a nice and pleasant place. The temple complex sits atop a small hill. And so it was a short hike up through peaceful woods. Nice little walkway lined with these very tall cedar trees. Look here, it's a cloudy day. Alright, so this temple is called Chiu Songji. Apparently, it was established in 850. It's a pretty old temple. Apparently came to prominence when the northern branch of the Fujiwara clan moved their base to Hiraizumi, which is this town. I don't really know much about the Fujiwara clan, but that's the history apparently. Around the turn of the 12th century, this land saw a brief respite from the bitter wars of the era. For nearly a hundred years, Hiraizumi prospered, and Jusonji Temple developed into a massive complex, a beacon of peace and rest for the countless spirits of war dead. Sadly, bloody war soon returned. The Fujiwara were eventually wiped out, and much of the complex became eventually lost to fires. So it's not just a temple, it's like a it's like an entire complex with with a whole bunch of buildings. I think the write-up says that only two of the buildings are from the initial era. So this is the Konjikido. The interior is made out of solid gold and the gold was harvested from the gorge we were at yesterday. The one at the boat ride, that's what the guy told us anyway. So we're gonna go take a look. Unfortunately, filming was not allowed. But housed inside the building was the Konjikido, the golden hall, 
an impressive structure covered in gleaming gold, evocative of the vision of the Buddhist pure land that the Fujiwara sought to create. Okay, it was kind of cool. That was like a solid gold little pavilion with a bunch of very intricately carved uh, Buddhas in it. Apparently dating back to the 1100s, so quite an old structure. Okay, here we go again, <laughs> looking for the right bus stop. Despite careful planning, things still went wrong. So I think we probably missed the bus because it's been a while and the bus didn't arrive. So we've resorted to calling a taxi again. This, by the way, is the Golden Hall. It's a photo of it in case you want to look at it. So we had a nice taxi ride chatting with the driver. We are now back at the station. I am going to hit the toilets. Heated toilet seats. Good invention. And so we went hurtling through the misty countryside, leaving the prefecture of Iwate behind. So we have arrived at Fukushima Station. We are only transiting here. We have about 40 minutes, so we're going to get some lunch. So there is a standing soba restaurant here at the station, and we are having a little bit of the soba here. It's pretty cold. This is a good weather to have soba. So we're on the train now to uh, Oishida Station. This is yeah, Tsubasa. I think it's an older model of the Shinkansen. Slightly smaller, it looks a little bit more retro. We also took the chance to dig into our convenience store bento, which as I always say, have no business tasting this good. Right, here we are. This is Oishida Station and I think everybody that's here is pretty much going to Ginzan Onsen. We are waiting for our Ryokan to come and fetch us. The people will come in with the Ryokan's name on the card and then that's how you recognize that's your ride. Not the best weather we're having here, but at least we're not outdoors right now. Okay, here we are. This is Ginza Onsen. The weather isn't great, and uh, the bus only takes us to the mouth of the street, and we gotta walk into the hotel ourselves. That's what we're doing now. With our bag. Okay, this is it. This is our yokan. We're gonna check it now. Hi, Okan. Hi, Okan. Ah, 
ってまたお疲れ様でした。All right, so this is the room. It's quite nice. It's way bigger than the last room. It's also more expensive. The staff members have been very, very nice so far, as expected of a Japanese ryokan. The town is incredible, even without the snow. It was nearly dinner time, and it was still really coming down outside. But we had to go out and look. Something. I mean, the weather isn't ideal, and you know it's pretty crowded. But that was still pretty breathtaking. So, that was a pre-dinner walk. After dinner, we'll probably go out again, and uh, hopefully it'll be a little quieter, and hopefully a little less rainy. So these ryokans, they often have these little candy, I don't know, pastry snacks thing that they put in the room. Sometimes because they sell it, but yeah, it's complimentary. Completely black inside. Mm. It's like a tausa kind of kind of flavor. Yeah, it tastes like red bean paste. Mm. Right, here we got some mochi sort of thing as well. We got this from the from Ichinosiki station earlier. But they both of them look different though. So, oh, it's quite good actually. Okay, I'm here for a pre-dinner dip. Uh, there's actually no one here, so there's a quick look around the. Changing for the hot springs. There's really nothing quite like a hot springs bath after the cold rain. So this is pretty nice. Got a lot of the expected stuff. River fish. Unexpectedly, we get horse sashimi here, which is nice. Some soba. Not sure what that one is yet. Hi. Oh, <laughs> This is sake. Actually, not too bad. I'm not a nice. sake connoisseur, but this is fine. Right. Customary to the Dokan experience is a nice traditional kaiseki meal prepared by the Dokan's kitchen. Unfortunately, I'm not sure what this is, but it doesn't taste very good. I've been having little, little bits of it. Some beef here, which is pretty good. Chawanmushi and the nimono. Okay, post dinner, we're coming out again for a walk. Unfortunately, while the crowd has dissipated, it is still 
raging rather heavily. We'll make the best of it. So this area is actually a foot bath in nicer weather. So you can actually sit on the block here and put your feet into the water, which you can't quite see. But yeah, this is why it's steaming over here because there's hot spring water here. So, evening walk in the rain. It is incredibly beautiful. I think the rain does enhance the mood a little bit. It's really nice, except that it's, it's really hard to get around. And the skirts of my yukata are soaked through, but it is beautiful. It is insanely beautiful. Look at that. It is otherworldly. So this is the front area of the Diokan we're staying at. It's got a nice little, rather eccentric look. Quite like it. Back in the warmth, I am standing in front of the heater so that I can dry the skirts of my yukata. Meanwhile, they've come in and laid out the futon. Much better quality futons today. Very nice. Have a bit. morning. It's a shame that the temperatures are not low enough for this to turn into snow but we got a nice wet town. The rain has mostly let up. It's kind of a drizzle now. Everything is wet.
I think there is a waterfall hereabouts that we didn't manage to look at yesterday this way towards the end of the town we're gonna go take a peek to Ganda waterfall was spectacular, thunderous, and we no doubt owe that to the rain. That was pretty impressive, that was a waterfall. Probably enhanced by the rain yesterday, but yeah, that was a torrent. Not sure where this leads, if anywhere, I'm gonna find out. Well, had to do a little exploring, I guess. Oh, apparently that's the extent of it. It looks like I used to be able to go inside, so let's put it down. That's a shame. Probably an old mine. And so, our eventful visit to Kinzan Onsen comes to its end, and with it, a whirlwind tour around northeastern Japan. So we're heading back to the station now, they are sending us off, and uh, we have a mountain of luggage in here. It's been a pleasure pouring heart and soul into producing this series, and I hope you enjoyed watching it as much as I enjoyed making it. Thank you very much for watching. Journey Northeast Japan is finished, but is this the end of the adventure? Well, as it turns out, my parents and brother would spend one more day and night in Tokyo City. So join us for one more bonus episode in the Metropolis as we check out the sights and sounds the bustling capital has to offer. As always, subscribe if you haven't, because the adventure continues one more time. <laughs>